In this episode, I will build something different, smaller, but not easier. Hi there! Here is the Flyhawk DKM U Boat Type 7B with dock in 1700 scale. Let's take a look what's in the box. All small details are come with three sprues, a PE thread for tiny details, and here is the model. Great, it consists on the three pieces. And finally, the dock parts. As you can see, the base part is warped. I'm gonna fix it like this. If it's not work, I will repeat that in hot water. The instruction page look quite well. Of course, as usual, I couldn't stop without getting something extra together with it. This is an extra PE detail set from Flyhawk for the kit. This set really improves the result. Let's get started. I'm gluing the duck parts first. I complete the entire model by gluing only three parts. I wish some aircraft kits like this. Yes, I know some aircraft kits are hatched from chocolate eggs. Before assembling the tower, I need to scrape some details and prepare the surface of the tower for the PE detail parts. I'm adding some minor details using with stretched sprue instead of filling and sanding the intersection lines. The PE propellers are extremely small. I secure them with a masking tape first before cutting. I'm completing the underside of the model first, because the most delicate and fragile parts are on the upper side. The PE parts are real well designed. I fixed this piece to its place at the first try without any problem. As usual, I'm shaping the PE parts using with basic tools. I prefer Tamiya X22 as a glue to fixing PE parts on critical places like this. After it dried, I am fixing the remaining with CA glue. This is the anti-aircraft gun, so it's supposed to be. Yes, now it looks like an anti-aircraft gun. I am replacing plastic gun barrel of the deck cannon with brass tube.
Now I'm gluing the railings. I use a toothpick for cleaning the excess glue. This is the net cutter. Very well designed and adds a nice detail to the model. The antennas look a little bit overscaled. Maybe that's a good idea to replacing them with a proper rigging material. But I will continue with them. Ok, let's start the painting the parts and the model. Primer first. Before painting the main color, I am applying some light tones and highlights to the base parts with white. Now I can apply the main color. Let's paint the model. I picked RLM 66 for dark grey color. As usual, I'm applying the first weathering layer with white. And finally I am applying highly diluted main color for completing the effect. I picked Gunzei H3084 the light grey color. I will not apply any weathering effect on that for now. Before applying the wood effect, I'm painting the logs with white first. Now I can paint the logs with watercolor pencils. For the first layer, I use a lighter color, then I will apply the texture with a darker color. I'm applying gloss varnish to the base and the model. That will secure from the weathering wash what I did so far. I'm applying the dark brown weathering mixture to all painted parts. Now I am wiping the excess wash with turpentine. And the first stage is completed. I can apply matte varnish then start to the second stage, detailing and the final weathering. The first task is replacing plastic details of the support struts with the metal plates. The 
The second step is building 10 containers. and building four crates. I separated this piece from the PE thread for easy painting the figures. Tables and chairs in 1700 scale. OK Flyhawk. Challenge accepted. It will be annoying to paint these tables. I'm gluing a stretched sprue on it for making a handle. That will make easier the process. OK, let's start with the priming. I'm painting the wooden parts with Tamiya XF59. I'm painting the figures with Vallejo acrylic paints. I'm applying the final weathering to the model. I use a highly diluted mixture with my favorite airbrush for that. And I'm applying the moss effect to the base with green paints. This time I'm not wiping the excess wash, I'm softening the effect with a brush only. Finally, it's time to fixing the model to the base. Now I can add the details. I'm adding the support struts first. I use white glue for that. No worry about the excess glue. Check the first and second strut I glue. They became invisible in a few minutes already. And I'm continue to adding details with white glue.
Finally, I can fix together the base parts. I'm using liquid plastic glue for that. This is the final detail, a wooden bridge. Now I'm applying colored wood varnish to a balsa plate. It will be the base of the diorama. And finally it's completed. If you like the video, please like and share. Please subscribe my channel if you haven't already. Also press the bell button to get notification of my new videos. See you on the next episode. Until then, take care of yourself and keep modeling. Now enjoy the pictures.